Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I had a kind of a special video that I've been wanting to do for a while. And uh, basically this is five reasons why I think you should be familiar with your everyday carry. Um, I'll start off by saying that I'm not licensed or trained professionally in arms or any type of weapons training at all. Um, my dad was a Marine and uh, he taught me a lot about gun safety and respecting weapons and knowing what they can do. Um, so I've grown up with that my entire life. My, my father's always been in security, so I've always been around guns. He's always been around guns. Um, so I'd say I'm pretty comfortable, I have always been pretty comfortable around guns. The reason I'm making this video is because five years ago or so, five or six years ago, when me and my wife were getting uh, our concealed handgun license, uh, there was a couple there that had literally bought their guns the day before the class, um, which was kind of scary to me. Um, at the range, when we were doing the range test, the instructor literally had to help uh, the woman figure out how to load her weapon, um, how to put uh, a round in the chamber, and how to aim down sights, which was crazy to me. Uh, I thought they weren't going to pass. They ended up passing the class. They got their concealed handgun license and that was it. But it's just crazy to me that, uh, these people had zero knowledge of their weapon, uh, which to me means they had zero respect for what it could do. And what I mean by that is a, a gun was made for bodily harm or injury and them not respecting that could, could seriously hurt somebody. So here's my five reasons why well, I think you should know your everyday carry. Uh, my first reason, which kind of sets the tone for everything else, is effective defense. If you don't know your gun, you will not be able to effectively defend yourself. If you have a gun with a safety and you don't even realize where it's at or how it works and you try to pull it, your weapon out and, and defend yourself and you leave the safety on, th those milliseconds it takes to forget that, it could mean your life. Um, knowing those things is crucial to your to your survival. Um, I don't care what anyone says, not carrying with a round in the chamber is the dumbest thing you could do. Um, you will not have time. You, every second counts and could mean the difference between life or death. Uh, number two, not knowing your weapon could increase the chances of you hurting yourself or others. And like I said, if you have a safety and you don't know how it works and you take that safety off or you don't have good trigger control because you never learned that, um, you could possibly hurt yourself and others. Uh, if you don't know what your gun can do and you pull your weapon out to defend yourself and you shoot somebody at super close range and it goes through them and, and hits somebody else and you kill an innocent person, that is a very serious thing to deal with. Um, you should really know what your weapon can do, how effective it can be at different distances, and basically the the basic functions of your gun. Number three would be becoming fluid with your weapon and becoming and making it an extension of yourself. Um, people always say this, and it's kind of a joke because you know they always have a sword or something, and they say to him, make it an extension of yourself. But it, in this, it's very true. You, your gun needs to be a part of you. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of people nowadays, and some who carry, who are not comfortable around guns, and I don't know why. I'm not sure, but for some reason, women are extremely uncomfortable around guns. I don't know why. They're just naturally... I mean, I would guess that they're just afraid. They're smart enough to know that it's a scare. It can be a scary thing, and so they don't even want to dive into it. But a lot of women are afraid of guns, which is scary because there is a lot of women who carry, just like that lady who I was telling you about, who knows nothing about her gun and could possibly hurt her or herself trying to defend herself. Um, so making it a part of you. It means becoming more comfortable with it. And that means going to the range. I don't know about you, but um, if I've taken a lot of time off and I haven't been to the range in a while and I go back, uh, sometimes I get the jumps. I think everybody gets the jumps 
where you you go in and you just forget that feeling and that sound of everything happening and when the gun goes off you just you jump you don't really know why you do it you just jump because it's just a loud noise um the more i've gone to the range the more you start losing that and everything starts sounding normal to you and that becomes normal to you um that is very crucial in being effective uh, people don't think about the variables in in situations that could or could not be there um, which leads me to number four, planning for the unexpected. Um, always be ready for everything. Um, you never know what's going to happen. These situations are almost always not ideal. There's never an ideal situation where it's just cut and dry. I'm the good guy. They're the bad guy. It doesn't exactly always happen that way because that's the whole point of carrying a weapon to defend yourself. You never know when you're going to need it. Um, you need to plan for e for anything and everything. Um, like I said, become fluid with your weapon so in that situation you can produce your handgun and defend your life and, and your spouse's life it, if that's necessary. Um, you can't do that if you're af afraid of your gun, if you're not sure how to effectively pull your weapon and aim down sights. And not only that, if you can deal with the duress of what's happening... People always get this fantasy that they're just going to pull their gun out and shoot somebody and be the hero. But in all reality, we're human beings and when we have no ear protection in and somebody fires a weapon at us or something happens and it discombobulates us, our body goes into a natural fight or flight response. Um, you need to be able to be fluid enough to use your weapon with that going on. Uh, your senses are heightened, you know what I mean? Everything is louder, obviously. You have no ear protection. Um, you need to prepare for those things. My dad used to do these a lot of things that I thought were odd, and I'll do another video on that, just tips and tricks on, on things I think people should practice. But uh, he used to shoot ambidextrous, you know? He used to shoot with his left hand, um, which I thought was so weird, and I thought he was just trying to be funny, but he's not. He's practicing and, and, and preparing himself if... Uh, somebody shot him in the arm, just randomly shot him in the arm, in his, in his right arm, you know, um, he would need to defend himself with his other hand. He would need to use his left hand to shoot his pistol effectively. Um, and how many ca of you can say that you can effectively shoot with your left hand? I think people pre prepare for the most ideal situation, which is they'll be fully intact, they'll be ready to go, you know, like they're in war. You won't be. You won't be ready for it unless you practice for it, unless you get ready for that situation. Um, you need to be ready for anything. Number five is the best part of it all. It's fun to do. It's just fun to go to the range and shoot a little bit and, and blow off a little steam. And before you know it, you know, you're 100 and 250 rounds deep and you just feel so much better. You feel more comfortable around your gun um, you just feel more ready, which is a good feeling. And I have to say, I, I'm, I don't want to be a hypocrite. I was that person too. I just, you know, I had a pistol my dad gave me and I just thought, you know what, I'm good. I got it and I'm ready to go. But that, that's not, the more I learned, the more I watched, the more I realized I'm not ready at all and I need to do better. I mean, even now I need to do better. I don't go to the range as much as I probably should to get ready. Um, I don't shoot my pistols as much. And that's another thing is, is basic operation of your pistol. Uh, there could be things about your pistol that, that don't work and you don't even know. Um, just like, uh, I had gotten these magazines from my brother-in-law. Um, they were these clear Glock mags and uh, I thought they looked cool and he just gave them to me. He didn't want them anymore. And so I, you know, I loaded them up. I had them sitting in my, in my range bag forever and then finally, a year later, I go and shoot and I realize the spring's not strong enough to keep feeding the rounds up. And I keep um, getting a round jammed in the chamber every single time it tries to load one. Um, as soon as ever, as soon as I'd get to the end of the magazine, the spring would lose most of its tension and it wouldn't feed the round into the chamber and it was getting stuck. Um, I didn't know that. I mean, if that was a life or death situation and I was using those magazines... I would have been dead. I would have a round jammed in, in my chamber and I wouldn't be able to effectively uh, 
sent around down range to my target. Those are things you need to know. Is your weapon working effectively? Uh, it's just like a car. Does your car work? You give oil changes to your car, right? Well, that's the same thing. You got to give oil changes to your guns too. Make sure they're clean and they're oiled, you know. Know what you need to know about them to, to make them work properly. Um, so that's my five reasons for why I think you should uh, be familiar with your everyday carry. Like I said, guys, I am not any type of professional. I am just a civilian who wants to protect myself and my family just like you do. Um, if you want some more better technical videos on everyday carry and and uh, situational environments, um, the Warrior Poet Society is uh, one guy that I watch. His name is John. But the one thing I like about the Warrior Poet Society is that that they have they're very practical um, with their teaching. You know, um, John, I think he was an Army Ranger, and so he actually has time in Afghanistan. Um, he has a lot of field experience, and I just like his practicality and, and reality of situations and the things he does. Um, a lot of videos you watch, they'll be very, they'll have a lot of fantasy to them, or what I would call like a Call of Duty feel to them. You know, it's it's like what you would want to be, like you're a Navy SEAL. But uh, it's not like that, you know, like bug out bags. Uh, bug out bags are cool, you know, it's, it's a fun thing to think about, but I mean, a bug out bag... A bug out bag is is essentially for somebody who is a lone ranger, I'll say. Someone who's by themselves. Um, I started watching videos on bug out bags and uh, the warrior poet had his video and he's was re he was real, you know, he's practical. He's saying, I can't have a bug out bag. You know, I can't fit everything I need into one bag. Um, he does have a few... Um, go bags, you know, if he got some first aid kits on something if he needed to go, but in reality, he has a family and he can't just leave. Um, he needs food, he needs shelter, um, and more than that, you know, he needs community. Community is the, one of the biggest things for survival. Um, but I like that he was honest about that and not um, trying to get everyone into doing this cool bug out uh, situation in their head where they thought, I'm just going to grab a bag and go. Um, it doesn't, doesn't always work like that, you know, maybe in your head it does, but in reality we need to be ready for anything. And, um, I just think that's really good, useful information to have. So if you're someone who owns a gun and you haven't shot it much, I would encourage you to find a local range, find somebody who owns some land, go out there and get comfortable with your weapon, get ready for, for anything, honestly, uh, whether it's just for fun or whether it's for protection, know the weapons you have. That is, I think, an important rule to have whenever you own a gun. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.